Mr Speaker, climate change is a very real and serious issue which demands the attention of governments at all levels and it has the attention of this government. But I'll tell you what we're also committed to. Kids should go to school. That's what we're committed to. So Obama's talking about all of this with the global warming and the, that. And a lot of it's a hoax. It's a hoax. I mean, it's a money-making industry, OK? It's a hoax. You only talk about moving forward with the same bad ideas that got us into this mess. Even when the only sensible thing to do is pull the emergency brake. You are not mature enough to tell it like it is. Even that burden you leave to us children. But I don't care about being popular. I care about climate justice and a living planet. 2014 will go down as the warmest year around the globe in recorded history. 2015 was the hottest year since climate records began. Figures show this July was the single hottest month in recorded history. Australia sweltered through its hottest spring on record. The phenomenon was a short-term trigger to a long-term global warming caused by human activity. Climate change is now affecting every country on every continent. It's the rate that's of great concern. And what do you itself. put that rate down to? Oh, it's human activity. As a UN messenger of peace, I've traveled all over the world for the last two years documenting how this crisis is changing the natural balance of our planet. I've seen cities like Beijing choked by industrial pollution, ancient boreal forests in Canada that have been clear-cut and rainforests in Indonesia that have been incinerated. In India, I met farmers whose crops have been literally washed away by historic flooding. In America, I have witnessed unprecedented droughts in California and sea level rise flooding the streets of Miami. In Greenland and in the Arctic, I was astonished to see that ancient glaciers are rapidly disappearing well ahead of scientific predictions. All that I have seen and learned on my journey has absolutely terrified me. There is no doubt in the world scientific community that this is a direct result of human activity and the effects of climate change will become astronomically worse in the future. I do not need to tell you these statistics. You know them better than I do, but more importantly, you know it will happen if this scourge is left unchecked. You know that climate change is happening faster than even the most pessimistic of scientists warned us decades ago. It has become a runaway freight train bringing with it an impending disaster for all living things. to the streets to fight for our futures and for those who are suffering from the consequences of climate change today. have spoken. Leaders of the world, you must lead. The continuation of our civilizations and the natural world upon which we depend is in your hands. <laughs> 